had another tough day at work today. You know, it's that time of year when gardens are in full bloom, and what better way to see them to go on a garden tour? And one of them, uh, one of the stops at the Plymouth Garden Tour is at Matt Dunn's house, and it's gorgeous. Thanks for inviting us. Thank you guys for coming out. What are you showing folks on the tour this year? So I've been here for about four years, and we've added something big every season last year. Uh, actually, th I guess three years ago now. Boy, it feels like yesterday. It was, it was just the uh, Arborvitae uh, shrub garden behind me. There's a bunch of Arborvitae. There's boxwood. Um, this year's project was a, a 600 square foot vegetable garden that's above ground that we did. And then in the backyard, it's all pastas. I don't know how many variety there are, but we planted about 500. It used to be a horse farm, so there used to be horses running around, so it's really open and serene. What is your absolute favorite thing on your property? Okay, so I think the reason that the friends of the library said we want to come over, even though it has nothing to do with gardens, is there's an amazing tree house in the backyard that's like 450 square feet. Cool. So they wanted to have that be part of the tour. They thought that'd be unique. And then they came over and said, well, we had no idea you had gardens. <laughs> Nuts and bolts of the tour. I would say definitely stopping by to see the swans. Everybody loves the swans. Um, the vegetable garden, that's the compliments we're hearing a lot this year is yep. everybody loves how cool it looks. And then in the back, the tree house, that's, that's the highlight. Matt, thanks so much for inviting us to your home. Thank you guys for coming out. You're the best, and it's a great cause. The Plymouth Library is fantastic. The Friends of the Library do, put a lot of effort into it. It's gonna be a great family event. There you go. This is just one of the five beautiful stops on the self-guided tour, and each of them features something different and unique. Right, there's waterfalls, there's a conservatory, there's a hosta garden. Come on out, take a ride around this Sunday in Plymouth and check out some great gardens.